we're here at the official Brackets for Good viewing party. Take a look behind you. We got two monitors showing us where donations are coming in, how fast they're coming in, and wow, what a finish, Matt, right? It was incredible. Incredible. Nobody could have anticipated the last couple of seconds of this round. No way. In fact, what's the statistic? In the last 24 minutes, yes. over $31,000 was donated at BracketsForGood.org. $31,000 in 24 minutes. Unreal. So, all right. So, let's take a look at the bracket and see what, uh, see what happens. Let me jump right into, in the first person division, we had Horizons of St. Richard versus Southeast Community Services, and what a nail biter. That one came all the way down to the finish, and Horizons advanced by about 136 points, if my math's right. So that, that was anybody's game. So congratulations to them. We'll go on to the City Mark division. This contest was decided very early for some, from some pressure from the Partners in Housing Association. They put up big points, and the Exodus Refugee Foundation could not match their intensity. Don't forget, the story of Brooks Place in the LM Henderson division. What an amazing organization to advance as far as they did and raise as much money as they did. Fortunately, and fortunately for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, they were defeated in a nail biter all the way down to the finish again, 5,847 to 3,985. On to the Moby Wireless Management Division. What a matchup. I still can't believe that we set a record for the most dollars raised between two very active competitors. I don't know about you, Mac, but I saw a little bit of trash talk happening on social media, all in the good name of fun and competition. But wow, Humane Society coming in with $16,740 and a last second donation to push them over the top. We will have to go back to the record books because this might be the biggest matchup ever in the history of brackets. It is. It's got to be. It has to be. So thank you. Thank you to the supporters. Thank you for everybody. Here's a look at the Philanthropic Four, which as a reminder, ends Tuesday night this week. So Tuesday night, April 1st is the end of the Philanthropic Four. And then we wrap up the tournament this Friday, April 4th. So it's all going to happen this week. So act now, show your support, get in the game at indianapolis.bracketsforgood.org.